spending time in the east of Thailand, we decided to change scenery and visit the beautiful Khao Sok National Park on the west side. It's located in the Suratani province. We treat ourselves at the national park. We have a riverfront bungalow. The name of the place is Kaosak Home River Resort and one night is 1,200 baht. I will do a little quick tour of the place. The bed is a bit hard but still really comfy. Here is the bathroom, top notch. It's so nice to have a comfortable place in the middle of the jungle. We didn't waste our time and went on a tour that the host suggested. He arranged a car, pick up, and off we go explore this highly recommended place. We heard that if you want to take in Thailand's raw beauty, this is the place with epic limestone cliffs and a great chance to get up close to wildlife. First activity in the National Park is a two-hour canoe tour with our guide Num. <laughs> the cost of the trip is 600 baht each person. It's the perfect time now to go on this little tour because the light is so perfect. It's 4 p.m. right now. Everything is so peaceful with the limestone rock all over the place and the greenery of the forest. It's absolutely amazing. I just saw a viper, a green viper. It was a bit scary. What did you think about the tour? It was really amazing. I recommend 100%. When you get to a new country, you have to try their own alcohol. So we have well, Sang Sum. It's rum. It's not too expensive, so we'll see how it tastes.
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's pretty strong. Doesn't help that it's, it's warm, but it's drinkable. Let's have a glass. Good morning from Kausak National Park. It's crazy to wake up and seeing that view the first thing in the morning. We had an amazing night. Yesterday the canoeing was a perfect start of the trip. So we're ready for today. We had a car that picked us up at 8.30 a.m. Yesterday, we visited a small river. Today, direction to the principal attraction of the region, Sheolan Lake. So we did a little stop for the provisions. 7 Eleven is always the best. After everyone wear live ticket already, the boat can leave from the pier almost one hour, but on the way you can make a picture. Part of the tour is we stop and we do a trek for one hour into the jungle.
So we have a little stop for dinner with a little restaurant on the water. Uh, it's a super nice view to have dinner. You can even swim if you want. You can do some kayak. We'll, we'll be here for about two hours. As you can see behind me, there's uh, also some bungalow where you can stay for the night. There's tour that offers two days, one night. We just took the one day tour, but it's possible to sleep on the water. We wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the Chill Land Lake. The lake is handmade and was built in the 80s. The main goal of it was to bring hydroelectricity to the southern of Thailand. Those limestones can be 900 meters in height. Last stop on the trip, we'll go explore a cave. I don't know how long it's going to be. Hopefully we're going to be able to catch some video in it if it's not too dark. Let's go inside. If you look up there, you have some black bag, a black coin. And this one is mix everything from the wet cave, from the cold cave in this one. Yeah. You can stay all in yeah. one and then stay like a different thing. We're back at the hotel, we took a good shower and we thought that we would give you an honest review about the tour. First of all, the price of the tour was 1,600 per person plus the fee of the entrance of the national park that was 300, 300 baht. Yeah. The tour included a meal and a guide. They also provide the pickup to at the hotel. Yes. For the review, it was something I was looking for for a very long time, especially to see the limestone, and I was not disappointed. I was really amazed about the tour, about the national park. Personally, I'm not a big fan of cave, but this one was really special. It was small and a bit like a maze, so it was really interesting. And we saw some spider scorpion, some uh, bats too. So it was nice, yeah. Yeah, so overall the tour was perfect. I would recommend it to anyone that you should come and visit the national park and do the lake tour. It's now time to eat and to sleep because it was a really big day. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow. Our last day in Kaosuk, we decided to do a hike without a guide. It's a hike of 12 kilometers approximately. Yes, and we stack up on water, food, and we woke up pretty early, so we're gonna try to limit the heat. Hopefully there's gonna be places where we can swim and cool down. All right, making hiking stick for walking, but also to make sure we don't get spider webs. It was a pretty good idea because 10 minutes after, we saw this on the stick. The rainforest here in Kaosuk is actually the oldest rainforest in the world. Even more than the Amazon forest. So we're looking forward to see as much as possible different species of plant and animals.
We're really deep into the jungle. It's amazing. Super humid. And it's really the unknown. We don't know what's going on, what we're gonna find, but it's awesome. We're the only one here. So we're still in the jungle and it's getting super dark now because it's nighttime because there's a big thunderstorm that's starting. Hopefully you can hear it, but it's crazy. Hold it, it's so loud. A rush. We were able to get to a stop during the trek where we could have a roof so we're not into the, the rain but it's pouring rain at the moment and there's thunder every 30 seconds I would say. There was one thing that we really wanted to see during the jungle trek and it was monkeys. After a well-deserved beer while waiting for the rain to stop, on our way back and almost at the end of the path, we came across a family of macaques. What a perfect ending of our time at the national park. This is the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.